Besides pulchritude and feminine charm, there must be expert ski ability to all performances. It was being nursed, nourished, and developed into the world's fastest growing sport. Ski champs can start from below the surface as easily as they can from on top of the water. Using a special release ski to get started, ski veteran Buster McCalla discards the release ski and steps out with a set of miniature skis commonly referred to as shoe skis. But on the right feet, they lend themselves to some very interesting capers. This little number is called the back swan. Cypress Gardens takes great pride in its water ski ballet team. Working with any group of water skiers requires the epitome of patience and care, for it takes only one mistake to break up the whole... Aren't they lovely? And just think of it, not a hothouse plant in a boatload. Every lassie a champion skier of the first water. That's called the forward swan. Bravo, girls. I'll bet there will be a flock of Johnnies waiting at the bathhouse door after this show. Water skiing, like most recreative pursuits, has its romantic side. The doubles, as this is called, isn't as sissy as it may appear. At 30 miles per hour, you must remember, all water is hard. This is called the layback. It is not recommended for the sacroiliac society or anyone else affected with vertigo or chicken nerves. Hi, beautiful. Look me up anytime you need a new understudy. Mike Osborne, the national champion and co-record holder, steps from his takeoff ski and finds that his bare feet will support him. This phenomenal stunt was originated by former world's champion Dick Pope Jr the son of the folks who created Cypress Gardens. Watch closely now, for Mike Osborne's going to sweeten up this stunt considerably. There it is, he did it, and you saw it too. One foot, barefoot, ski whiz. For Pete's sake, fella, don't wiggle your toes. The only trouble with barefoot skiing is that nobody knows how to quit gracefully. See what I mean? Boat builders and outboard motor makers have made such strides in no time at all that America suddenly finds itself amphibious. Safety features now allow most children the opportunity of exploring Neptune's realm. Notice how mom and pop are really sharing in this nautical sport. Remember, Water skiing is always as safe and recreative as good equipment and good handling can make it. Never ski without at least two persons being in the boat. It's water safety's cardinal rule. You know, folks, the big secret about this water ski stuff is the fact that nearly anybody from 6 to 60 can do it. You don't even need lessons. Just a couple of honest tries alone will surely convince you. Cypress Gardens has developed hundreds of kids just like these three with nothing more than just a chance to go water skiing. I call this a nice happy landing for small fry. Steady there, sister. Now you know this family had a good time. What's more, the kids are making sure there will be a next time by taking care of their skis now. Sandy Reynolds is one of the garden's prospective champions. Once he gets the feel of his new water feet, he is a hard boy to throw. Right now, 
Sandy is giving a new model called Aqua Kings a real shakedown run. Now the towboat is setting up a crack the whip giant swing that accelerates the speed of the skier up to 60 miles per hour in 360 degree continuous circles. Another able and genial test pilot is Mac Parks. He takes pleasure in putting the Cypress Garden label through all the hell of the local spas can furnish. Bumps, grinds, squeezes, cracks, peels, and twisters. They are all in the day's milk run for Mac Parks. Right now, Mac is riding her new Sportster model. So far, the contest is a tie. The flying saucer is strictly a novelty in the water ski world, but nearly everybody likes a change of pace. And here's one that will produce it. Expert Johnny Broderick says, here's a new way to become a disc jockey. Mike Osborne, besides being the national jumping champion, is a master of water skiing anywhere you tow him. He loves to practice his leaping power by crossing boat wakes in all sorts of body positions. Recently, Mike invented a little game he calls Dropsy. At high speed, he drops the tow rope on one side of a tree and hurries around the other side to pick it up before it is too late. He found it and gained a yard, too. There's a lot more to water skiing than competitive action. For instance, take Jimmy Jackson and Sharon Spencer. Jim's the number one man on the American water ski team, and Sharon is a star of the Garden's Great Show. Nevertheless, they both enjoy a good, carefree ride, even as you and I. Well, they're off. To see the sights, I guess. While our friends are taking a cook's tour of the local charted waters, let me tell you something about the wonder of water skis. First of all, they are made of ash and usually laminated for super strength and flexibility. Now, if you couple all this with keen workmanship, the best safety bindings, and appealing styles, you will have the ultimate in custom ski making. There is a difference in water skis, especially since balance and comfort and personal satisfaction must be built in. Durability is another intangible that pays off in the end. But why worry about all this? If you have the Cypress Gardens label on your skis, you know it. Here's Roger Ray, twice national boys champion, running the slalom course, which is performed on the single or slalom ski. And here is the popular women's ski star, Nancy Rideout. She's the world's champion record holder and present champion. Nancy is a versatile speed queen who is able to handle everything on the waterfront, including boats and motors, too. She likes to design her own water ski models in our own new plant. Nice going, Nancy. And we salute you, too. Next, we present Mr. Simone Khoury from Beirut, Lebanon. Simone is four times European champion and undoubtedly one of the best male water skiers in the whole world today. He seems to have everything, power, dexterity, and a competitive heart. Already, Simone is an official fixture at the gardens and will be a sure enough American before long. Since water skiers are constantly coming up, 
with new stunts and tricks and feats of skill, the world governing body has recognized tricks as a feature of every competitive program. Nancy Rideout gets a kick out of doing as many of the men's tricks as possible. Most tricksters like shorter skis for this kind of business. Nancy likes to convert on the new banana style tricksters. Turns and continuous 360 degree circles. Next, he does step overs and side slides. And then he tries toe hold 180 degree turns. If this fellow gets any better, he will have to seek outer space for more competition. Roger Ray is lows in the adult class for jumping. The towboat must run at one standard speed, but a good jumper knows how to increase speed by cutting against the pull of the rope. Roger was the first junior water skier to reach the Century Club mark in jumping. Jumping skis are reinforced and especially constructed. Okay, Roger, and I do mean Roger. Naturally, our Nancy dominates the women's jumping scene. She holds the world's distance mark of 89 feet, and only Nancy herself seems capable of breaking it. She cuts and heads for the jumping platform like the best of male experts. Nancy claims there is more life in Cypress Garden skis, especially the jumpers with her name on them. Now, Nancy, this is no time for a commercial. Buster McCalla, besides holding a world and a national title, is perhaps the one competitor who keeps the kings on their medal. He's been a long-time member of the Century Club, and even when better skis are made, Buster will probably bust some of them. This lad goes for broke on every try. His egg beaters and cookie cutters keep the safety control in constant need of tranquilizers. But like all champs, Buster knows what he is doing. That's what they mean by orientation. So long, Buster. I'll be seeing you soon on the moon. Mike Osborne still has a few jumps left in his system. You should know by now that champion jumpers do a lot of spilling. This is so because they are constantly trying for greater distance. But jumping for pleasure is not nearly so hard as you may think. So don't avoid the jumps. They are loads of real safe fun, even for the occasional water skier. Okay, Mike, you can take three laps around a dry towel and call it a day. When the blue chips are down and the white heat of competitive action has narrowed the field, that's the time to notice the skis on their survivors. At the last U.S. Nationals, all five places in the jumping event were won on Cypress skis. Now, Jimmy Jackson, Mac Parks, and Buster McCalla demonstrate a double helicopter.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our little film show. We hope that you, too, will join in the fun of water skiing. It's really easy to do, especially on the champions you. So long. Thank you.